Welcome back, drinks fans. I am Steve the Barman, and I try to give you cocktail and drinks inspiration for your favorite brands, for your favorite tipples, to help you make and create better cocktails at home. Coming up in the next two videos, I'm gonna be giving you uh, six different margarita riffs, three per video. Um, the margarita that I'm gonna be focusing on is kind of the, or basing these on, is the Tommy's margarita. It's my favorite way of drinking a uh, kind of a margarita. Uh, essentially, we're swapping out the orange liqueur or orange curacao that you would use for agave nectar. So take your Grand Marnier or orange curacao or what I do, Fortunella, and sort of swapping it out. So the Tommy's Margarita is essentially a uh, three ingredient cocktail. Uh, your tequila and the tequila brand I'm using is Cascabel. I've got them all up there and we're gonna be featuring them. The coffee, the, the honey, the, uh, the coconut tequila, the Reposado and the Blanco. Uh, this is just the kind of Blanco tequila, freshly squeezed lime juice, and Funkin's agave nectar. So I'm gonna be loosely basing these riffs, uh, these six riffs on this cocktail, so three per video. I'm shooting the next one straight after this, so it will be out in a few days time if you're watching it live. Mm. Right. That is so good, so, so good. Feel free to take these recipes and kind of use your own interpretations on them. So. Uh, the first one I'm gonna kind of do for you is a tropical kind of margarita. I'm gonna be using Cascabel's um, coconut tequila. This is absolutely amazing. You don't have to use Cascabel. Use your favorite tequila and uh, feel free, even if you've got a Blanco or Reposado, like interchange this with a little bit of coconut liqueur in there. There's no, no, no right or wrong. This is just pure inspiration for you. So uh, instead of 60 mil, I'm going 45 mil of coconut tequila in here. So 45 there. Uh, then I'm gonna be adding a little bit of banana liqueur, Giffard's Posh Banana Liqueur. Is that the right one? Yeah, uh, I'm going 10 mil of this. Here we go. And then I'm gonna be adding um, 10 mil of pineapple, Giffard's Posh Pineapple Liqueur as well. So there we go. There's that, lovely. So we've got pineapple, banana, and coconut. Absolutely delicious, this is the first one. Uh, then I want some freshly squeezed lime juice. I've kind of got it here, ready to go. Uh, 30 mil, one ounce of that. And then, uh, just your agave nectar, as you'll see from this, this is properly, properly thick and luscious, this one. Uh, and because of the sweetness, I'm sticking to the 15 kind of mil, half an ounce of agave nectar. It's like honey. Here we go. Look at that. Oh. Mm. That's proper, proper, proper nice, that is. Right, so, it's gonna get a sticky cap in it. Right, here you go. So, just gonna ice this up, uh, and then we're gonna give this a proper shake down for a good, as always, good sort of 10, 12 seconds. <coughs> Right, there, pop that there. Right, this one is going traditional, so I'm going into a rocks glass. So I'm just going to single strain this in there. Lovely. Pop that there. Now, uh, I've got some large ice balls there, or cubes, I've got an ice ball there as well you could use, uh, but I'm just going to sort of normal ice for this. Fill this up with normal ice. There we go. Maybe a little bit of, uh, I was gonna say crushed, but I've got these lovely little, lovely little sort of cubes now, tiny little cubes on top. And then just garnish that with kind of a pineapple, pineapple spear. Got fresh pineapple. And there we go, that's my first one. So it's kind of a, like a Tommy's margarita, but it's kind of a tropical coconut, banana, uh, pineapple. That is so, so good. <laughs> I love that. Right then, the second one I'm gonna kind of do for you. It's just a very simple, quick flip on a, um, a strawberry margarita. No blended, nothing frozen here, just proper, proper. So for this one, I'm going for the Blanco tequila. Because I'm gonna let the strawberry flavors do the work. So again, I'm going 45 ml of Blanco because I'm gonna use strawberry liqueur in here. So 45 ml of Blanco. Tequila, uh, I'm gonna use my lovely sort of strawberry liqueur, and I always have to use a little pourer for this one because the strawberries keep coming out. Uh, so I'm going 15 ml of strawberry liqueur. 
in there. And then I'm going back to, pop that to one side. Now I'm going back to my sort of standard, my lime juice and um, my agave nectar. So 30 ml of, of lime juice. And feel free, feel free to adjust the sweetness. I think this is bang on perfect for these like the sort of the two ounce, one ounce, uh, half an ounce for that, but feel free to have a little play. So again, we're going 50, <laughs> look at this. Oh, I might have some of this on toast. Oh, so good, so good. Right, get all that in there. Then we're gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna leave the cap off, because it's gonna get all sticky. Uh, same thing again, so ice up. You could use strawberry puree, you could use Strawberry syrup, you could use whatever, fresh strawberries, strawberry jam, doesn't matter. Let's just use, waste not, what not, let's use the same shaker. Again, so hard fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. Right, that's not all done. Now, this is the other way I love to serve um, like margaritas. I'm gonna go properly in a little Nick and Nora glass. I'm gonna double strain this. So we're getting all the little tiny shards of ice. So if you're gonna use puree or anything like that, just use a bigger glass. There we go. You don't want it, you don't want it overly sweet. You want, you want a tequila first and foremost to come through. So, you know, don't drown out that tequila. Don't, don't make it too sweet. Tequila is, if you get this, this, like this is why I'm using Cascabel, because it's kind of, I'm not a tequila person, but getting used to this brand is a brilliant kind of entry level, um, doing it a disservice, but a brilliant kind of cheaper tequila to get you into tequilas. It's absolutely delicious. Right, I've got a little strawberry wedge there as well. So just the simple kind of strawberry Tommy's margarita. Just strawberry and tequila together. Oh, that is, oh, that is magic. Mm. Right, now for the third margarita. Let's just, yeah, let's just use that again. Uh, I'm going for kind of a passion fruit sort of flip here. Um, so I'm gonna be using a bit of fresh passion fruit in here as well, but I'm going for the reposado for this one. Um, and again, there's more booze coming in this, so I'm bringing it down to 45 mil um, for this instead of 60. So there we go, 45 mil of Reposado tequila. And then I'm going for some Pessoa, Pessoa, passion fruit liqueur, 15 mil of this. There we go, lovely, perfect. Now, I'm just gonna add a pulp of half a passion fruit, we've got a fresh passion fruit here, where's my spoon? Uh, so I'm just gonna sort of use the pulp in there as well. Cause I'm not gonna double strain this one. Right, there we go, that's the pulp. And then I'm going back to the standard, 30 mil, one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And uh, half, half an ounce, 15 mil of your agave nectar. I don't know, if, you, if you're especially in America and Mexico, like why are the go-to kind of agave brands um, that we get over there? Because we've got, I think there's two or three, I forget the brand, but we've got like a brand that you'll see in every single supermarket over here, and I can't think what it's called. But I don't really know too much about agave nectars, I'll be honest, and syrups, that's actually a syrup. Right, lovely. Ooh. Same old. Same old. Shake, plenty of ice. Shake that up. So Repsido tequila, Pessoa, fresh passion fruit. There we go, magic. Right, hard, fast shake. And it's a different way to uh, serve this. Coming up in a second. Right, there. Now, I kind of want the passion fruit in here as well. So I'm going for um, a kind of a julep glass, actually. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of loosely strain that, we want a bit of, bit of the uh, passion fruit seeds in there. Could always add a bit more, they're all in the bottom there. Right, 
Um, and now I'm just going to use crushed ice for this. Or again, go back to my cubes. It's my little lovely cubes of ice. There we go. Brilliant little ice mold. So I'll stick a link in the affiliate in the um, show description where you get these little sort of cubes of ice from. These are well little ice molds. These are brilliant. Right, garnish this with a passion fruit. And there we go. And you've got a passion fruit. Um, margarita. Oh, I don't think I can split them. Oh, that's amazing. Right, make sure you join me in part two, uh, which will become filming straight after this as well. Uh, and then you can let me know which is your favourite out of the six uh, margaritas that I have done. Oh, amazing. We're going to be featuring the coffee and the honey one in part two.